Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. <laughs> What is happening, folks? Another game time of NBA playoffs. And for you, me phones, we got some another rematch here for Utah Jazz and Mavericks. Who do you think who will win the second time? I think this average is going to be a lot higher ranking here for Utah Jazz here for tonight. This might be a very close ranging in between the difference by those players. But I think there might be another way to make them score a lot much better, but they had. And for this time, we might see how well they can do here for the second game for Dallas Mavericks if they can try to stop their run of the game. And with that, the lineups are being deterred. Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Royce O'Neal, Bojan Bogdanovic, or Rudy Gobert of the, the tall man rejecting here. And I forgot to say it was Bojan Bogdanovic. I gotta say it correctly here. No worries here, you'll get this one right. Luka Doncic, Jalen Brunson, Reggie Bullock, Dorian Finney-Smith, and D. White Powell are the starting lineups for the Mavericks. Let's head you over to the American Airlines Center for the second game of the Western Conference Playoff Game. Right, it's coming up after this. Thanks for joining us here. And we're back here at the American Airlines Center. Of course, this is a city court I have never seen before since they haven't just released it yet for this part of the game. I'm hoping this will be a good one here for me and me phone here and the sideline will be for David. David? David? Rudy Gobert is now a three-time defensive player of the year. And he says that award is about making your team better. A lot of things you don't see in the stats. If you play good defense, most of the time you don't get a block because it doesn't reach that point. They don't even come inside. Guys, the lane is closed. Lane closed. No stopping here. Thank you, David. Catching here with the uh, with a better player is Mike Conley. 44% of a field goal range. Effort is 54 in the last five games was the 57 percentage. Only 72 percent for his effort ability. Sometimes you want to get right around it, but you don't want to make any uh, encouragement if you want to get back on the board. Mike Conley and Luka Doncic are the key matchups in the point guard. Along with the others, Bogdanovich against the other player of Dorian Finney-Smith. And we have, of course, is the player that the coach Quinn Snyder, seventh season with the Utah Jazz, and the other players are on the board trying to work their way around a bit. There are there is no Tim Hardaway Jr. as he's already out, not able to make it to the playoff position. But let's see how they could do without him. The Mavericks wins the tip off here, and we are all set for the second game. Wow, a disappointing run here for backcourt violation. How did this all happen? I don't know, but this is this is a terrible start for the for the Mavericks to start. Wow, unbelievable. I did not see. I did not hear that one, but that was very tough. Here's Conley setting up for Gobert. Now he will dish off to O'Neal. O'Neal around Bullock, right to Mitchell. Around over Brunson. First rebound takes up by Powell. First rebound turned out to be just like him, like, like the other day. Mike Conley takes the first rebound as the other hand up for Dallas misses. McDonough right to Conley. Backs to Mitchell. Back to Conley. Three pointer for O'Neal, and he will hit the first three for Royce O'Neal. Jazz has the first three pointer in the range here for the second game. The second game really doesn't able to bite that one, Gus, if you're gonna try to work it around a bit. You're gonna need to try to find your luck. Royce O'Neal 
He is trying to work his run average as the first steal is on Rudy Gobert. Mitchell right to Gobert. Back to Conley. In the attack around Powell, and he will get it in there. Two points for Conley, and it's 5 0 game. What a great average here. Not really sure you want to take it from here, but that was what you need to go from here. And the first bucket is on Luka Doncic. His first point of average could be one way on and go right from another. Conley, back to Mitchell, back to Bogdanovich. Lost the ball, it's Brunson. And with the on break run, here's Brunson. Passes to Doncic over Conley. Rebounded by Bogdanovich. The first rebound is just like everywhere you wanted to go from here. Not really sure what's going on with him, but you really got to try to uh, pick a screen and then go with the run. Finds Bogdanovich up and around. The board is, goes in through. Bogdanovich has his first bucket, and it's 7-2 lead. Brunson against Mitchell. Screen. Gets away. Slams it in the paint, and it's 7 4 game in the first period. What a shame. This wasn't really like the only way that you wanted to get around with. But I know this option, this all turns out to be one of his best performing out there. Might need to go for another idea. Five to shoot. Mitchell over Brunson. That will take the two release pick, and it's 9 4 game. Mitchell gets his first bucket, and they are working their way around. Mitchell really need to know how he did, but I think he might need to go for another chance. Wow, what a great tee on Rudy Gobert. No foul is on Utah. And it's McDonough with the ball. Mitchell inside, back to McDonough. Up on the board, no good. Vinny Smith with the first rebound. And now it's Brunson, Bullock up, three, big in is Bullock. And with a win against, against, the, against the Pistons at Detroit, that's how well they did. They did a really good job. Not just too much to go in, in here with the play and drives, but that's all you need to know. Conley right back to O'Neal. O'Neal right to Bogdanovich. With the fade, right to Conley. Inside, around Donkic. And it's no good, another miss by Utah, Mike Conley. Brunson, number on Mitchell. Goes right to Donkic. Backs to Bullock. Benny Smith. And Donkic up. Rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert, he's like only a tall man. He knows he can definitely lead this entering game tonight. If he can do this one again, that might be his goal to keep it going. O'Neal on Bullock. He finds a bullet, and it doesn't work up. Didn't work around, but oh! What a show run! And it's Brunson with the assist popping out. Root Dorian Finney-Smith. Wow! I don't believe this. That was a great play. Oh my goodness! Durkic just slams it down! And a one-point lead is on Dallas Mavericks. Mavericks, here they go. They're coming through. They're working around a bit to try to work their way in. Conley outside for three. That won't go in. As Conley hits the first three-pointer for the second game. Conley's got his good average here along with the board. Not really well at all. And just showed up in time is Rudy Gobert. Ten seconds remaining in the first period. Rudy Gobert almost lost it, but now he goes to try again. Conley with the buzz beater, and he gets it in there. That's a two-point score for Conley, and the first quarter has ended up the books. 14 to 10 is your score. A lot of great dunks here, but that's what's on alley for Brunson on Dorian Finney-Smith, and Donkic with the dunk, but the other hand was Mike Conley. We'll be right back after this message. best player that I can be. I'm not trying to make this about me. This is team basketball. Like at the end of the day, we're, we're doing good things. We just got to keep it up. With the rise and fall action here, I can always call it from the other end. That was going to be Donovan Mitchell because of all of him, he wasn't able to interview here. 
for the first game, but now he's here for the second game. I'm pretty sure he might be going for another team to make his to make his to make his fortune to dumb up of the day. And if you're all joining us here for the second period, we got just started here as this now turns to be 16-10 as Rudy Gay has picked up his first bucket. Brown! Oh my! We have another dunk here going off for Dallas Mavericks, and they are trailing by four. Not just going to be anybody, but that was all he took when Brown had one all. They all really would love to see him make his play effort one time another. What a play. Clarkson up. Two-pointer is good as Clarkson picks up his first bucket. And it looks like the Jazz are looking for a chance here to hit their run on the mark. And they wanted to keep it going. Screen puts up on, on Bertans. Now he rolls over to Brunson. Screen again on Bertans. That gets carried off. And Brunson can't get it to go. Clarkson has got his first rebound, and now he will find things over to find Gay. Now Gobert, right to Gay. Clarkson for three. Rebound by Gobert. The Mavericks are just pulling their way in short. But for Jazz, they are working their way run to try to help the offense-defense approach. Oh, watch out! Clarkson gets a slam cam, and what a jam! That's all he took. Yeah, just like you did here before, it's all players does the same thing, just like the Bulls and Sixers so far. That only happened here for the last game. And that was a great game that turned out to be an average of the AT&T Slam Cam with ultimate 5G internet assets. And a three-pointer here for Kleba. Really have gotten away with it. They're coming down by five and a timeout called by Utah. They're going to talk it over again to try it again. Pretty sure this all turns out to be practical but not really consuming what you really fit. Because of all the bands really, really gotten better at that point, they need to know a lot more effort, a lot more uh, offensive look, and for this game, it's all what they need to know from his game approaching. And for this part, we all see that Luka Doncic has always has been a best player in the Euro League so far. How does it help you from his, uh, on his upper way here, Mipo? Well, not for me, as, as certainly, but sometimes for Dallas Mavericks, they know that Luka Doncic is on the road. Road kill was like no option. He knows he could definitely try to work his way around. And for him a bit, it's all pays for him to get in the game. He really likes to be here with the team. There are new two changes for the substitution for the Jazz and the, and the Mavericks. Gobert and Conley are checked out as Whiteside and Alexander Walker are checked in. No Mavericks for a substitution, but now this will be only two for Whiteside and Alexander Walker. Pascal pays it up, goes right to Gabe. Six on the shot clock, inside the paint, rebounded, it's on Kleba. Kleba's got his first rebound here for the game and coming in for Brunson. In the paint, around Clarkson, and it's no good. Never miss here for Brunson. Oh, he got it back. He got it back. How did this happen? I have never seen that play. He got a steal, and that's what happens. He made a turn off, and that's all he did. Wow, that was like a best, uh, that was like no questions asked. And he wasted too much time for Bourguet to try to work their way around. And just a Rudy Gobert block moment of Mobile One. That's all he had turned out. Rudy Gobert really had turned it around the other way. But that's what you need to know. His defensive player has gotten much better than he did. And now three players are checked out for the Mavericks. That's three players are checked in. Vinny Smith, Bullock, and Donkic are checked in. Just 2-12 remaining. Dinwiddie finds Donkic, and a good pass by Dinwiddie. Luka Donkic receiving another two, and they're down by one. Only two minutes to play here for the first half. It is now 20-19 run score. Ashko right to Skay. 
Right back to Clarkson. Now he goes right to Alexander Walker. Oh, around Brunson. Oh, my goodness. Alexander Walker has gotten better at that point. He says, whoop, take that. That's what he has done. Whiteside can't find anybody. And it's Maxi Kleba with a first two and a drive. The drive is putting up an effort pressure. Now it's supposed to be a jazz defensive breakdown. Now Whiteside on Kleba. Up and over to Gay. Gay, or over Bullock. I'll never miss by Jazz. They are making too many missed shots at the free throw, right from the paint to outside of the three point. This can be very true for them to pass. Bullock pushes it way forward, and they are up by two. Dunkage with the assist, and they are just putting it up the pressure. Pressure it is, no way to behind. That's what you need to know. They got better. Alexander Walker. Strong drive, but it's off target. Dunkage right to Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie comes short with the floater, and it's Whiteside with the rebound. Clarkson right over again. Backs it off to Alexander Walker. Now, 30 seconds remain here for the first half. Screen will be helping out for Paschal, but this will be denied. Finds Clarkson. Shot fade. Paschal got it. He counts that run, and it's Paschal with the first bucket, and the assist goes up by Clarkson. And they tie the game up. Donkic against Clarkson. Going inside. Oh, almost got deflected. Three seconds. Two to shoot. And no good. That ends the first half. A 24 score in between the Jazz and the Mavericks. We will catch a quick break. And we'll be right back after this message here of the NBA playoffs. No time to do any interview. Let's get right into it. It all turns out to be just close. Let's have a recap one more time. And the statistics are updated. That's it for today. Let's go back to the American Airlines Center. And we welcome you back here at the American Airlines Center as the third quarter is starting right now with a tying score in between Jazz and Mavericks 24. Checking out for Mike Conley, his average pointing can be very, very different. Along with comparisons of game one and the regular season, this all turned out to be just for him. And for him it is. Mike Conley is an only the man himself. He has always been dominating. Not with the Memphis Grizzlies here for tonight, but his most average score can be the only man himself. Conley, almost deflected loose, but it's Rudy Gobert with the ball. Conley, back to Gobert. Gobert, going out of nowhere. He goes back to Conley, five to shoot. Gobert inside, catching the lead is no good. Bullock with the ball, and here's Donkic. Sweeping the run, Donkic takes the two point lead. And it's all started here for the second half of the game. It's 26-24. O'Neal's gotten a little bit hang off, but it looks like Rudy Gobert couldn't really answer, but Luka Doncic can. He has gotten a really good pace. McDonough for the lead. Yes! And that will be the first three-pointer here for Boha McDonough. And they're up by one. McDonough, easy open looking for the shooter. And he is up here for tonight. Now Doncic passes off to pa Powell. Inside, try to work his way in. And Powell scores! Wrap around and around over Gobert. 
Conley right to Bogdanovich. Finds Gobert. Watch out, and yep, that is a power score and one. Powell takes the first foul, and this will be another second team foul on Dallas Mavericks. Rudy Gobert, he, he shines, he's like nobody out there. And there's your bucket score. Count it. Rudy Gobert at the free throw line, shooting one. And they will have an upper, upper average lead to pick it up by two. This is a heavy matchup in between those two from the fourth seed and the fifth seed. I know, it's very intense, right? But who will have it all? Well, we don't know. Rudy Gobert can't make the throw, and this will only be the two-point average. Another drive here, coming in for Donkic, finding his Brunson. Brown against McDonovich. Six on the shot clock. With the shot, it's no good. Another turner off is being around the other way. Now Rudy Gobert. Passes off to O'Neal. Oh, goes up to, B to Mitchell. And bounce pass by Conley. The Jazz are moving the uh, ball there quickly, and they are not they need to get rid of the shot clock. And a good save by Rudy Gobert. That's another rebound here for tonight. Always gonna give, keep up the effort here. If you want to get that one in there, you gotta get it right. And another shot may be for for Royce O'Neal. That's another two-pointer average here for the score. For times. Inside, almost turning to be a loose ball, but it won't be happening enough. Now Mike Conley finds McDonovich, backs it over to O'Neal. O'Neal right to Conley. Conley inside, and a shot's made be for Conley. And they're extending the lead and trying to pick up their run. Mike Conley, he knows he can definitely try it better this time. Only nine points in the game. He might need to go for the third game. Donovich missing the three-point range on the outside. And a bad pass. It's on Powell with the turnover to steal. Donkic on Conley. Screen rejected. In and face. Powell. Back to Brunson. Brunson win the attack. Donkic. Bertans. The three-pointer is made, and they're down by two. Timeout called by Utah with a minute and 31 to remain in the third quarter. This all turns out to be just a show that they wanted to keep it going. Remember that season four? They already lost against the the other team of the of the Milwaukee Bucks. It was very close with the intense score matching, and they wanted to pick it up and out of the way. Well, not to, uh, not to make huge mistakes out there. It's all I need to know. It's just be very, very tough. And the shots here won't mind the manner. It's all what they need to know. That is truly true. You've got the right handling of my pressure here. If I were you, maybe you will have to uh, say is that Rudy Gobert is just a uh, great defensive player of the game. He might be going for it again, but we're not sure if it will be him or the other guys. So, we'll have to give it all. Of course it is. Some new changes here for the Mavericks and the Jazz. As Gay is checked back in. And Mitchell will be heading over to the point guard. Gay, right in control. Passes off to Clarkson. Two players checked out for Mavericks as Pleba and Dinwiddie are checked in. Finds Paschal. Up around. Good, good, boom. Up Paschal. That's the second bucket of the night. Paschal's got a good look of a carry. I'm not sure what you need to go for, but that is what they need to go inside. Brunson inside the paint, and a drive is good. Brunson's got another two pointer, and they are trying to attack the run. And it turns off. As a great D on Bertans, no foul given. Now two players are checked out, Bertans and Brunson, and it's now Bullock and Vinny Smith. Here's Dinwiddie, 
Only gets a score just yet for the three-pointer. But only made the great alley-oop. My, oh my! Dinwiddie has gotten a great use of his average of this of his dribble control. Not really going to be effort out there, but you got to know what you can do. Clarkson right to Mitchell. Gay for three. Outside range is good. It's Mitchell with the assist. And they're up by three. 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. Dinwiddie against Mitchell. Screen on Vinny Smith. Cuts away. Oh! Oh my! Dinwiddie gets right in the side and a dunk is being released. I don't know what to say, but that's the other thing. It's like nobody out there. Wow! That was like a great play. It's on the wrap up. Gay, McDonough, bounce pass to Pashko with the buzz beater. Oh, he made it! And he had it up by three. What a play here for Pashko. And now I know how he handled it up through, like, it's like a best play in the game. And so far, the Jazz is trying to clinch their way to the second win. We'll be right back after this. And with all the coach, here's what he has to say. Chasing Kidd, he's always been playing here for the first time here after playing with the NBA career, but now it is his time to play as a head coach. After the Everard uh, team, we're definitely talking about Jason the Kid. They always know for him for sure. How does it feel that the uh, new coaches have the newer balance to be in here, Miko? I'm pretty sure, right? Because the other player, other coaches are really having a, a lot of record of this season, sometimes they always got fired, but they, they really wanted to get right in the, in the other lane. It's very hard for them to try to work their way on a run, but that's not going to help them if they wanted to keep it going. Wow, what a great layup, a drive for a white side. He's all alone here and taking quiet here in first half, but now for the fourth quarter, he's got it in there. Dinwiddie, screen rejected. Oh no, he's going back again. Dinwiddie on the roll, another huge breakdown on Utah. Yeah, there looks like they're not doing really well. You gotta step up again, because if you don't get there in time, you're gonna have a hard time. Clarkson inside, in control, makes another drive. That's two in a row. And he has six points. Dinwiddie against Mitchell. Benny Smith on Bashko. Kleba on white side. Passes off to Dinwiddie. Mitchell on him. Five to shoot. Bullock against Clarkson. They need to get the shot in the time. Three-pointer, no good. It's Pashko with the ball. Deep pass by Whiteside. I almost lost it, but it will keep the Jazz ball in the game. Only 3.16 left. Now a new changeup is being released as Pashko is checked out and Gay is, and Alexander Walker is checked back in. Two players are checked out here, being released up here, and they will have to try again from the top. Mitchell for three, he done it again. Mitchell receiving a three-pointer and they are extending it. Those two pointers can be very tricky, but the three-pointer of Mitchell of mine can be very true. I know his average can be very, very low, but he is on fire. Vinny Smith, no problem here inside, and they are down by six. Mitchell fires across to Clarkson. Mitchell, Gay, fires the three, and it goes back the other way. And this one is like extending the run by nine, as Whiteside really can stand out his favor of Gay to pick up the run. Gay on him, he gets the ball back. Alexander Walker with the ball, passes back to Gay, Layup drive is good. That's another two-pointer for the Jazz, and they're extending it again by 12. Timeout, released by Mavericks with 2.08 remaining. It's 52-41. The first game was like, wow, smoke out. 
But the second game is going to be happening here again. If they really wanted to keep up on here along. And that's one where I'm going to have to change it into 3-2-3 three, to three zone. Try to go up another lane. And the update is released. One block for the Jazz, one steal for the Jazz, and only five steals for the, the Dallas Mavericks. No blocks yet, only two, two turnovers released. And seven turnovers for the Jazz. They're going to need to try to like keep the tempo in to slow it down. They're going to need to try to work their way around. Absolutely. They always need to do that. Because if you don't get this one in time, you're not going to succeed more. And we have time now for the New Balance Player of the Game. As all players goes out to Mike Conley. That's two consecutive rows here for Mike Conley, but he has been really going in for the kill. All his average he knows, it's two and two. Make it equal to go with six to four. And with ten, that will be Mike Conley happening here again. Here's Donkic, hasn't scored yet for the three-pointers. He is now covered by Mitchell. Step back, Faye goes in. And that's uh, Donkic with the number two-pointer. Tied up with Rudy Gay. Gay is all tied up in the net. Might need to go in, switch fast. Bear Faye back to O'Neal. Tries again for Rudy Gobert, inside, got it again. And it's Gobert with the second bucket of the night, and Anil with the assist. He's gotten good. He's going very good. And here we go again. Donkic delivering in there. And they are working their way around. 12 points, 12 minutes on the court. Really need to catch up. Mitchell against Brunson. Finds Rudy Gobert. Goes right to Bogdanovich. Now Gobert will help him make a screen. But it's whiffed off. Inside, score for Rudy Gobert. Bogdanovich with the assist, and he is all over. Rudy Gobert really gotten better at that shape. Really needs to try to hustle their way through. Bullock can't make a shot. The Jazz always have picking up their good defense rebounds in for their much attacking of their force drive. Now it's McDonovich. Backs up to Rudy Gobert, right to O'Neal, right to Mitchell. Step fade, up. Rebounded by Gobert. He has the ball right in his quick hands to make it separate. McDonovich back to Mitchell. Back to McDonovich. Over no, Finney Smith, in and out. Another one carries in for Rudy Gobert. Just to go right to 30 seconds. Tries again. Mitchell with no choice. Rebound again. McDonough up. And he gets it inside. McDonough gets seven points in the game. And they extend it up with an extremable kill. Bullet for three. Made it in. But it won't be enough for them to make the win. And Mike Connolly will have to close the quarter for the fourth quarter. And that's it. Your final score is 58 to 48. Jazz extends the win 2-0. With all that incredible score, they will be playing here in Utah after the game two of this season. In the playoff mode. Let's catch you all with David Eldridge on the sideline. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Rudy, what did the bench do to help you get this win tonight? It's been huge. You know, they, they brought us back in the game, and uh, everyone contributed. You know, it wasn't an easy night for us at the beginning, but uh, we kept fighting, and it's a big win for us. And I'm sure you want to keep it going, man. Congrats. Back to you guys. Thank you, DA. It was a hard win for the Dallas uh, to try to pick it up, but it was all for Utah Jazz with the two wins in a streak. Next time, they will be playing here in Utah to face against the Dallas Mavericks in game three and four. This will all be on them if they can pick up the win or pick up the loss. Let's have our three star players of the game starting off with Mifo.
Thank you. I will take it from here. Number three, we all have is Luka Doncic. 12 points in the game, two rebounds, and three assists. And it's just one dunk here on his whole performance run. Only 21. Not really well enough, but uh, hopefully the new record can be pushed up the limits for the next couple games. Now, Santa Beast, use your number two take. Number two, we always have him, the Mike Conley, the ultimate New Balance player of the game, has only been nine points, one rebound, and four assists. But that will be beyond the arc. It will not be happening here from this part. And with the number one game, here's your take, Jeremy Phone. All right, looks like we got a number one shocking moment here. And this all goes to the player that we see. It is Rudy Gay. Ten points, one rebound, and just one turnover. Which is not that bad, actually. But he might need to go with an assist if he could try to do this thing along. But it wasn't enough for him to pick up for his game tonight. So that's it for him. And for me as well. We'd like to thank you all for watching and tune in with the Sixers and Bulls happening on Wednesday. So, we'd like to say peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA playoffs on NBA 2K22 dial. And we'd like to congratulate with all the players that turned out to be just how incredible career effort turned out to be with all everyone and with the fans too. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, folks. Have a good night.